Hello guys, this is your boy Mr. Joystick85 and today we're going to be unboxing Assassin's Creed Mirage, the deluxe edition for the PS5. On this edition, it includes the bonus quest, as it's stated right here, the 40 Thieves, and it is of course made by Ubisoft. Ready M for Mature, for Intense Violence, Blood and Gore, Strong Language, and Drug Reference. All right, I know I haven't been doing, I hadn't did a video in a while. That's because I've been working a lot, doing long hours, but I'm back. So, matter of fact, speaking of that, tomorrow I will be doing a review of Spider-Man 2 since I already completed it already. It's already been beaten. And after that, I will be doing a review of Lies of P. Man, bro, Lies of P. I got a lot to say about that video, so stay tuned. So... It says right here, Ubisoft Original Deluxe Edition includes the game and additional content. All right, so basically, this is how the front looks. Yep. This is the side of it. And this is the back of it. Assassin's Creed, it says, become the ultimate assassin. Includes additional digital content, deluxe pack, digital bonuses, Stealthily take down targets with visceral assassinations. Uncover the secrets of 9th century Baghdad. Discover a tightly crafted coming of age story. Now, I looked up this game. Oh, it also has 30 gigabytes minimum, so that's not too bad. I looked up this game, right? And um, I never played an Assassin's Creed game in my life. So this would be the first one. They said this one is kind of different from the other ones. Basically, it's like a, a standalone uh, storyline so it's not the same as the other Assassin's Creed it's basically like his own game and they said it's actually a little bit shorter as well so it shouldn't take that long to beat oh I also got one more unboxing video I'm gonna do I know it's an older game or whatever it's called Ghost of Tsushima the director's cut for the PS5 so I will be unboxing that I got that in as well bought this from Best Buy and bought that one from Best Buy as well so I actually have to get this shipped to the house because they didn't have it available at the store. Well, this edition, they had the regular edition, but you know me, I got to get the extra extra stuff. And it was only like, what? I think it was like $59.99 or $69.99, one of those. I know that Ghost of Tsushima was expensive, $70. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this bad boy open, shall we? All right. Go. Got the wrapper. Session Cream Mirage. Side. This is the back. Alright, let's go ahead and open it. Okay, so yeah, it already has the code, so I can't show that. Alright, let's put that down. Looks beautiful too. I like how the disc looks. This is the disc. This is the front. You already know how the, all the little backs look the same. So it's like looking into a mirror. All right. So basically, when Assassin's Creed first came out, the very first one, I wanted to play it. I'm not going to lie to you, but I was playing other games at that time. I think I was playing. I was playing either God of War 1 or God of War 2. I think 1 or 2 came out around the same time the first Assassin's Creed came out, I'm, if I'm not mistaken. But I love games like this, you know. Kind of takes you back to, I don't know, like, you know, I like games that have, like, stealth and all that stuff. Remember I told you about those ninja games like Ninja Guiding? Uh, what else? Ghost of Tsushima, Neo, you know, games like that. And also, what's that, Tenchu, Tenmu, Tenchu? I think it's Tenchu. It's one of them games. I, I can't remember. I don't play so many games, y'all. But anyway, this is it. Assassin's Creed Mirage. Another thing, or reason that made me get this game, because when I saw the commercial, I played, I mean, I saw the commercial and it looked real good, and especially they played that song. I think it's called Mirage like the same name of this video game and it was so dope you know it was like dun, nah, 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 
Yeah, so uh, hopefully hopefully they play that song in this game somewhere, like, you know, while you're doing a mission or maybe even the first part. We'll find out, though. So after this video, I'm going to go ahead and start playing this for the weekend. Hopefully I had this beat by, if I play it continuously, I should have this beat by maybe about, let's say, Sunday. i say by about Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. Probably before then, Spider-Man... I just beat Spider-Man yesterday. I would have beaten it. It would have only took me a couple of days to beat Spider-Man 2. Simply, I just had to work, you know what I'm saying? Where if, if I just played it straight through, you know, it would have been completed a long time ago. So like I said, I'm going to give an honest review of Spider-Man 2 tomorrow. And the next day, I'm going to do a damn straight uh, honest review of Liza P. And it's going to be a censored review of Liza P. Because, man, when I tell you, you know, you already know what it is. That's them Souls-like games for you, I swear. But I don't think Assassin's Creed is like a Souls-like type of, you know what I'm saying, with the difficulty and all that. So it should be manageable. But anyway, y'all. This is your boy, Mr. Joystick. I'm not going to make this video too long because I, I really don't have to. And um, I'm going to go ahead and enjoy this. And after I beat this, oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to be doing a review of the Assassin's Creed Mirage as well. Yeah, so. And I, I don't know if I'm going to ever get into the other Assassin's Creed games or whatever because they're kind of old anyway. And um, from some of the stuff I heard about them, I really ain't got the time. They said those are real long. I'm talking about real long. This one is the shortest. So basically, it's like almost kind of like a, just a DLC game in its own of his own kind of like miles morales spider-man miles morales but anyway this is your boy mr joystick once again don't forget to like comment share subscribe all the above y'all all right appreciate it one